What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you the secrets to running really successful Facebook ads. I've got a couple of great examples to show you. So in a second, we'll jump in and we'll go through those. These are all current Facebook ads too that are currently being ran. So this video kind of doubles up as some product ideas if you're not quite sure what to sell. So we'll go through the videos start to finish so you can see the entire ad and then I'll go through them again, but this time break them down and kind of point out the reasons um, of why these ads are so successful. So I've got a couple of different ones to show you. Both of these ads are selling products in completely different niches and therefore completely different products and what you'll soon see is that the points for both of these ads are quite similar so regardless of what niche you're currently selling in or regardless of what products you're selling you'll be able to take these points because they'll transfer across to your niche and your products as well and hopefully improve the results of the Facebook ads that you're running so that's the topic of the video thanks for tuning in I hope you enjoy it um, and let's jump straight into it okay so here we are on Facebook ad number one before we actually show you the ad let's show you some validation behind the ad so you can see it is indeed a successful one um, so at the top it's from a company called Kenko back um, it started running on September 22nd back in 2020 so it's been running for over 18 months now um, if we scroll down we can see it's had over 10,000 engagements 5,000 comments and over two and a half thousand shares um, if we filter the comments by newest we can actually see people are still commenting on this even one day ago so this is something that's still active and still being sold successfully today and with that being said then let's take a look at the video ad that's been running for all this time <laughs> Okay, so that was the ad. As we can see, it was about 48 seconds long. Um, pretty nice ad, obviously effective judging by the results that it's been getting. Um, and so with that being said, then I've made a list of points and the reasons, the kind of things I've spied in this ad, which I see similar with other successful ads. So let's jump into those now. Okay, so point number one and point number two, that was gonna be hidden, but point number one and two then is the branded page and number two, responding to comments. So the reason why I'm a big fan of branding your Facebook page to match the kind of products you're selling, especially with a product like this, because it has health benefits and it's quite a serious topic, um, and it's in that kind of a marketplace then by branding your store and naming it something after your product then it kind of it makes your business look a bit more legitimate and a bit more professional and like you actually know what you're talking about people are much more likely to trust you so for example these guys are obviously called Kenko back if you were to use that very same ad but for a store for a general store that was called um, I don't know it could be like cheap buys or trendy buys I don't believe it would have the same level of success versus a branded store because when you're named after the very same products that you're selling you come across as kind of like a professional within that space and therefore a lot more trustworthy number two is responding to comments this is something you'll see a lot of successful e-commerce businesses doing even still to today so we can see comments from the last one day and then you can actually see when they reply to comments too so they're actually replying to comments every Every single day so somebody tagged their friend and Kenko back um, less than 24 hours later said hi appreciate the tag place your order now while it's still on sale click the link above so this is a really great way of building trust and showing to anybody who comes across this Facebook ad that you're a currently active business and there's actually real people behind the business responding to comments and what it also shows too is that if they have any potential issues or problems later down the line then it's super easy to get hold of you because it shows that you're taking that you're active and you're actually taking notice of the comments on your page and on your posts and therefore if they post something and have an issue then you're going to see it and respond to them super quickly as well point number three is this particular post has real customer comments so if we just have a quick scroll down we can see straight Straight away there's a real person here got mine today whilst 
they are kind of complaining about how long it took to get there. The fact that they've come back on to say they've actually received the product, again, it just legitimizes the business um, and it shows potential customers that you are a real business, you are shipping your products, which actually speaks a lot on the internet today. People are so wary of scams and things like that. To have real people on Facebook commenting positive things just legitimizes your business and helps ease people into trusting you. And if somebody trusts you, they're much more likely to actually spend money and shop with you as well. And just to give you a couple of more quick examples, then we can see that Marina, I have one and love it. So again, it shows that somebody's purchased this product. And then we have a comment from Rodney just below. Um, I placed an order last Friday. When can I expect delivery? So again, anybody coming across this can see that other people are trusting this company, which makes them more likely to trust your company as well. So definitely something that everybody should be doing. Point number four is they have a rock solid guarantee. So if we take a look at their Facebook ad, we can see that they are saying results or full refund guarantee. This is a massive guarantee because it eliminates any kind of doubt in their mind that this product works. Because if you are willing to back your products that much, then the products must be good and it must do exactly what they claim it to do as well. Point number five is they have a unique offer. So one of the first things you may have thought or come to mind when you saw this product was, it's nothing new. I've seen this product done loads and loads of times before. And I'm a really big believer in that saturation doesn't really exist, or at least it's not what a lot of people think. If you can differentiate your product to your offer versus the next person, then it puts you above them and it makes you or gives you a lot higher chances of being successful. And the offer that these guys are giving uh, a free pain ebook with every order. Now, whilst this may not seem like a lot, it just it makes the customer feel like they're getting extra value. And again, it also positions these guys as a professional in this field. If they're offering a free ebook, which shows or gives you information about how to relieve your back pain, the importance of looking after your back, how this product can help, then again, it just positions these guys as professionals that like they know what they're talking about. And plus, if there's a customer out there that is in two minds about purchasing from these guys or versus somebody else, with these guys, they get a free ebook. So it's just that little bit extra to help tip them over the edge. Point number six is they have buzzwords in the first two lines of description. So these are gonna be the words that when people see, it's relevant to the audience that you're targeting. So they're gonna to snap to attention and be interested right away. So, I mean, this product kind of speaks for itself. It's, it's targeting people who have back pain. So in the top two lines, originally designed to treat poor posture, which is kind of in the same space as back pain, the orthopedic. So they've got another buzzword there with orthopedic. Back stretcher has been receiving rave reviews so there's kind of um, some social proof that the reviews have been really good about the product um, from customers for its ability to treat back pain. So another kind of buzzword or buzz phrase there to capture people's attention. Point number seven is there's a huge hook in the first three seconds. So I'm not quite sure how good the audio will come out, but it's it's quite a... Um, cringy or at least it kind of sent a shiver down my spine because it's a really loud noise of somebody kind of cracking their back and that's the sort of thing that when you hear that it's going to be the only thing you hear if you know what I mean if even if there's other things going on in the room when you hear something like that because of the the kind of noise that it is again it's just going to snap your attention to the Facebook ad which is brilliant for getting people to consume your video ad get sold on the product and then more willing to click it point number eight is it shows how to use the product as well so if we just take a look at this section of the video ad, it clearly demonstrates somebody using it and how to use it. So just 10 minutes a day, then it shows all the different adjustment levels too. So essentially in this one short video, the customer has literally every piece of information that they need to fully understand what the product is, what it does and how to buy it as well, which is just gonna lead to higher conversions. Final three points then for this ad before we move on to the next one. Number nine is it's effective with or without sound. This is super important. There will be people who are scrolling through their newsfeed in places where they don't want to blur out the sound because they don't have headphones like on a train. It's not very often you hear people just kind of blurting out videos. So if somebody is doing that, then by having these kind of circular things that pop up and the subtitles amazing for neck and upper back pain, it means that anybody watching this video, whether they have sound or not, um, can understand what the product is and how it can benefit them basically. Point number 10 is it shows human beings. Now this might sound like a strange one, but trust me, this will make a massive difference if you have real human beings. I think we might have kind of saw it a second ago. 
um, where it said trusted by thousands of users or hundreds of users. If there's real people talking about your product there, trusted by thousands, real people talking about your product, demonstrating how the product works, it humanizes your brand and it makes it look a lot more trustworthy. I can't say that enough. The more different people you have in your website, on your website, on your socials, talking about the product, the more it's going to legitimize you and your business for sure. And point number 11, which we conveniently finished on, was the fact that the product is branded. So we can see it says Kenko back on it. Now, I haven't actually ordered this product from these guys. I don't know if it actually arrives like that. To me, that just looked like a printed sticker, to be honest. So they could have ordered one of these and simply put on their own stickers just to kind of help build that professionalism of how the product looks and make it look brand branded it might be a case of that the actual product does arrive with a branded label on but to do this honestly would be super super cheap you would be talking pennies on top of the cost of the actual product and any decent supplier would be able to do this for you or worst case scenario you just order 50 units get it delivered to your house keep it in your living room like I used to do when I first started um, and just put the labels on yourself and so with that being said then that's Facebook ad number one before we jump into Facebook ad number two I'm going to ask a small favor and that is if you're enjoying the video and there's some points in there which you're thinking that makes sense and you're going to implement it into your own Facebook ads let me know in the comment section down below or by hitting that like button moving on to Facebook ad number two then again before we jump into the actual ad itself let's show you some proof and validation um, of why this product why this video ad sorry makes a list so this is an ad from only dogs it's been running since July 25th 2019 so this has been running for almost three years and we can still see that the comments are from recently so at the very top we have one year <laughs> I'm not quite sure why it has one year at the top but this one's three days ago this one's four days ago this one's five days one week one week one week so this is still active please do believe me um, it has 14,000 engagements 2.7 thousand comments and nearly 4,000 shares which is awesome so in the dog niche one thing that you might have discovered yourself if you're selling products within dog niche is that the shares will jump up pretty quickly because if you have a really good Facebook ad in the dog niche which should be a dog having fun demonstrating how to use your products people want to share that video regardless of whether there's a product trying to be sold in it because everybody loves to see cute dogs doing cute things and so with that being said, let's take a look at this video ad. It's a pretty short one. I believe it's only about 20 seconds or so long. Okay, so that was the Facebook ad, as you can see, super short, um, but yeah, super effective. And you may have even spotted some of the points which I went through on the previous ad, which you can see straight away um, have been implemented into this ad as well, um, which leads nicely on then to the list. So let's take a look at the points now. Okay, so this is a list of points I made from this Facebook ad. As you may start reading forward, you may start noticing a lot of them are very similar from the previous one. So at the top, we have the branded page. Um, this one in this case is called Only Dogs. Number two, we have a sense of urgency built into the actual description at the top. So so we are selling our last units all in caps lock at 40% off just today. So get your offer now. Now, the fact that this has been running as a Facebook ad since 2019, you can't actually change the copy of your ad once it's been running as an ad. So even though they're saying just today, they've been selling this for nearly three years. So obviously that's not very accurate. Number three is they're responding to comments. As we scroll down, we can see even from a year ago, they're still responding to people, um, which is good to see. It shows the business is active. Um, and again, for those same reasons, which I mentioned earlier on in the video, um, it's just a positive thing. Number four is it has real customer comments. So here's one just to show us a quick example from Rich Hart in Pennsylvania. It says, beautiful Jack loves playing with his. Point number five is there's a cute hook in the first three seconds. So in those first three seconds, we can see this really cute little fluff ball of a dog, like dancing around, chasing the ball, the sort of thing that any dog owner would love to see, um, which is hence why it has so many shares. It has more shares than it does comments, which is rare. Point number six is it shows the product in use. Again, within those first five seconds, you can see, in fact, I believe the opening scene is the ball just going around on its own. So in those first few seconds, you can see exactly what the ball does 
who is it for um, and just shows how much the user actually enjoys using the ball too. Any dog owner watching this immediately after seeing that dog play with that ball will be thinking how will my dog react to this because it's the same thing that I thought when I first saw it as well. Point number seven is this ad shows different dogs also which is super important because the more dogs the more people and user you can show show it using your actual product sorry so the same things i pretty much said earlier on in the video so i'm not going to bore you in fact it just legitimizes the product and makes people trust it that much more number eight is it cuts between different scenes to kind of reset people's attention so if you noticed in the middle there was kind of like this section where it doesn't actually show somebody using the product but it's quite a comical section where it's just rolling across like different scenes of people that are pretty irrelevant to be honest but it just has a comical factor it resets people's attention which makes them much more likely to kind of stay with the ad with the video and watch it till the end and last but not least as we finished off in the previous one this one works with or without sound it has subtitles so regardless of where you are when you see this ad you can follow it you can watch it you can understand what it is what it does um, and most importantly in fact where to buy it as well and so with that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up there they're the two facebook ads i wanted to show you i hope you learned something new i really hope there's something in this video that you implement into your own ads that really does improve your results um, if you do i'd love it if you come back to this video and let me know exactly what that was and one final thing then before you go if you are looking for a bit of hand holding like a mentorship program with myself where i can take you from day one literally if you're a complete beginner with zero experience at this i can help you get to the point within 60 days of having a business Business, which is bringing in consistent sales on a daily basis it includes all the one-on-one -on -one possible support you could ever need so it includes zoom calls on a weekly basis and also daily whatsapp support and i will literally help you with every part of your business it's a very limited program too i only work with five to ten people every single month so i can give everybody the kind of care and attention and support that they need if that's the sort of thing that might interest you and you like the sound of that um, leave the word accelerator in the comments down below i'll send out a link you can book a call we can jump on a call together get to know kind of like the position you're in and what your goals are and see ultimately if i can help you with those and so to wrap the video up thanks again for watching i really do appreciate all the support and i'll see you guys in the next one